two. Two. All right, so I just wanted to make this a second time just to make sure I covered everything. That's just me. But thank you for coming to my channel. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, I only have one video posted because that one has a lot of views. And I could not think of anything else to post after that one. So, right now, currently, I'm still in college. I'm almost finished. I'll be done in May. And I promise you, I will make more videos. I'm going to be in a play soon, next month, November 4th. I'm also planning on changing this location so I won't be in the same place. i vlog more as well. But right now, focus on school. I am currently in the HIMT program. I decided to make a video about this because I'm pretty sure there are some people thinking about taking this um, program or going into something similar like coding, you know, just coding. Let me say, I am very, very tired. <laughs> I'm in the associate degree program. Um, so let me just tell you what classes were already taken. Let me just tell you, they already added some more classes for this um, upcoming, I guess, next semester. So here's what I've already taken. I'm not trying to bore y'all. I'm just letting you know what I took. So far, I feel like I took like 17 classes at the end, it'll probably be 21 classes. I took English, math, um, psychology, anatomy, lab, and just regular anatomy. Um, that's part one and part two. And right now, they added economics. So, I pray for y'all, if y'all haven't started this program yet, <laughs> you would have to get economics, okay? And I also took theater and public speaking. I did human diseases, basically the diseases of the body. Um, I did intro to health information. So basically you'll learn about the program in that class. And computer apps, I really didn't understand the point of that class, but I'm guessing it's about computers. Um, I guess if you want to work on the more of the computer side of this program, because HIMT is not just coding, I'll get y'all a little list of what HIMT covers, the um, degree that is. So it's not just coding. I've taken pharmacology and legal aspects, it's the legal side of healthcare. If you want to be a compliance officer, make sure that the hospital is basically through the process legally, you know, making sure they are following all the federal and um, the guidelines they have at the hospital as well and I also took health record content and structure don't know what that book was about some of these books just repeat itself and I just tell you what I have and like I feel like some of these classes just took my time because that eventually all this stuff is gonna books basically repeat the other book and then we have statistics, and right now I'm doing ICD-10, PCS, as well as CM. And I'm also doing CPT. So CPT is outpatient coding, and um, ICD-10, PCS, and CM is inpatient coding. I have so. <laughs> if you don't know anything about this program never heard of it before I never really heard of it before either so I chose this program simply because I wanted to help people and give back to people but not touch people you know I don't want to come face to face with strangers 24 7 also I'm just don't want to like take blood and do stuff like that so I was like okay I'm pretty smart in the medical field so I'll just go this route I would say in the beginning it was kind of easy for me because it's basically remembering stuff, no definition and stuff, simple stuff like that. But now, it's getting to the nitty gritty. I have to say, like I said, outpatient CPT is straightforward. When it comes to inpatient coding, you better have a great teacher or <laughs> you'll be pretty confused. I'm not saying my teacher isn't great. 
people learn differently and a teacher is teaching not to everyone's learning ability if that makes sense so if you feel like you don't understand you're not slow it's just they're teaching in a way that you just don't understand so me i have to go online and i go watch videos from my co-master as well as um dr campbell they help me a lot with the coding and i thank them for that i feel like without them i would not be doing decent in the inpatient coding so that's the sum of that like after this i would have my RHIT. So basically, we'll go through practicum, a practice, um, basically an eight-hour job for three weeks, um, learning how to basically work in the field of coding. You don't necessarily have to do coding. If you just want to do coding, just go for the coding route. Don't do a two-year program. But yeah, I'm not trying to um, deter anybody from this. I'm just saying, I am stressed and I'm ready to graduate. And I pray I do well on the test. I just hope I grasped more stuff than I think I did. I know I'm not the only one that doesn't really understand exactly what I'm doing. I feel like working at the job, learning, training there, it may come easier that way than me in class. Um, like the inpatient trying to figure out the order of things that's what makes it harder for me I want to finish this degree and I just like how HIMT covers a good bit of stuff so really if you don't like coding you can always go to the data analysis section of it so that's the main reasons I'm not sure if I'm going to go to the coding route not sure, but I'll graduate, have the degree, and I feel like I'll do what I want to do anyways with it. <laughs> so I can also um, let y'all know if I use the degree, especially me being 20 years old. They're going to be like, you need volunteer work because of experience, you know. There are a few people that have more experience than me, and I also feel like it's all about who you know more than what you know, so... I know one person that's been volunteering for eight years and has their bachelor's in this and cannot find a decent job but one person that has none of the experience or volunteer work got a higher position than her and getting paid probably 15 more dollars than her and they're just like if God wants me to do this I will do it I just feel like God wanted me to have this under my belt because really, if I had a choice, I'll be volunteering, singing, acting all the time. But right now, I'm living in reality. <laughs> right? So that's all I really have to say about this topic. I didn't really cover much of anything. I feel like I'm just venting. But that's what I've been doing. I have four more classes after this. And, I, and also, I'm waiting for accreditation. So that's also what I'm stressing about but everything's gonna be okay and like I said after um, I finish the classes I'll have my well I'll have to take the test for RHIT registered health information technology I love how I'm in the program and I kind of still don't understand it but like I said once you finish um you can get trained at the job. I feel like working at the, well, working in the position, I feel like it'll help people a lot more. I'm more hands-on, because right now, all I'm doing is book work, you know? Ooh, sorry. All I'm doing is um, book work. And trying to get the order, like I said, an inpatient is stressing me out. It's like it's making me feel like I'm slow, and I know I'm not. But please, use extra, like, these people. They help me a lot. I'm doing pretty decent. Because I thank them for that. But, 
if you want to um, do this program, like I said, it's not a bad program at all. It's just a different language that you just have to get used to learning and you're not going to be fluent in it because stuff keeps changing. They're adding stuff um, with the years, changing the manuals, and now they're changing the curriculum. Now they're changing the classes that you have to take as well. So stuff is going to change. You're always going to be learning and you always got to keep up with your certification as well. But if you like coding, go ahead. Like, I don't think this is a bad program. I just think it's kind of discouraging when you feel like you don't understand and taking the test and they still say you don't understand even though you think you understand it has to get better and I'll let y'all know once I finish and once I graduate it has to get better it has to so if you're taking classes right now with me we got this okay we got this there will be jobs for us we'll pass our exam hope that was a decent video but if y'all want me to talk about anything else if you have any more ideas I just took the moment that I had a little break that I had from studying because I wanted to vent on how I'm doing right now and about this program and how I think about it like like I said I don't really like it so I, it's hard but please don't pay off I'm gonna get it it's basically, like I said, learning a new language. I'm going to get it. Stuff's going to change. Like I said, probably dialect, you know. It's going to change. And that when I get into the real like world, to find a job, it will click more. Like, we would do well. We want to get great grades. But yeah, so if you like helping people in the medical field without contact with them, this is a field for you. Especially if you have dreams like me to become this amazing actress. You gotta have a real career first. So, <laughs> alright. Well, thank you for watching my lovely YouTube video. Hope it wasn't too boring. I don't think it's boring to those who are actually in the program. I just want to let y'all know how it is for me, how am I doing, and just the process. So, if you have any more questions or ideas or what you want to see, whoever is still following me, thank you. I'm going to go and try to study some more or take a nap. Probably.